This is Electric Universe Eyes, and today I'm going to narrate an article posted to Quora.com titled, Who is Responsible for the Ridiculous Theory of the Electric Universe? The question is, of course, a leading one. It immediately assumes the theory of an electric universe is ridiculous, i.e., a theory that is open to ridicule. The theory of an electric universe has a longer history than one might imagine. It has been proposed by Nobel laureates and eminent scientists for more than 100 years. As far back as 1852, Sir William Grove noted the phenomena of electrical discharges in a vacuum tube caused by the generation of plasma. In the same era, James Clerk Maxwell, the famous physicist who developed many of the present-day principles of electromagnetism, observed the same phenomena and wrote, quote, these and many other phenomena of electrical discharge are exceedingly important, and when they are better understood, they will probably throw great light on the nature of electricity, as well as on the nature of gases and of the medium pervading space, end quote. He strongly hinted that the universe would operate on the same principles. At the turn of the 20th century, a Norwegian physicist, Christian Birkeland, investigated the Northern Lights, the aurora borealis, suffering long cold nights at the risk of freezing to death to learn about this beautiful phenomenon. He concluded that filamentary currents of electricity flowed along the Earth's magnetic field and discharged its energy in the atmosphere as spears of light. He proposed that the electric source was the sun. NASA's space probes have since provided Birkeland's conclusions to be correct. The currents have been named after their discoverer. Birkeland reproduced the phenomena in his laboratory, observing with his experiments what he witnessed over the pole. His theory was quickly ridiculed by the well-respected English scientist Sir Arthur Chapman. To this day, little is known of the work of Birkeland, but his work has been vindicated by many discoveries in the space age. Hannes Alfein, May 30, 1908 to April 2, 1995 was a Swedish electrical engineer, plasma physicist, and winner of the 1970 Nobel Prize in Physics for his work on magnetohydrodynamics, MHD. He described the class of MHD waves, now known as Alphane waves. He was originally trained as an electrical power engineer and later moved to research and teaching in the fields of plasma physics and electrical engineering. Alphane made many contributions to plasma physics, including theories describing the behavior of aurora, the Van Allen radiation belts, the effect of magnetic storms on the Earth's magnetic field, the terrestrial magnetosphere, and the dynamics of plasmas in the Milky Way galaxy. Alphane extrapolated his research and discoveries to encompass the universe. One of his well-known quotes is, quote, I have always believed that astrophysics should be the extrapolation of laboratory physics that we must begin from the present universe and work our way backward to progressively more remote and uncertain epochs, end quote. To Alfin, the universe is electric in nature. More recently, Anthony L. Peratt was an American physicist and electrical engineer whose most notable achievements and work have been in plasma physics, nuclear fusion, and the monitoring of nuclear weapons. His knowledge of plasma physics led him to believe that symbols recorded in ancient human artifacts were evidence of plasma discharges in space, observed by the ancients. He instantly recognized the symbols as the same shapes he saw in plasma discharges. Because of his investigations into the artifacts, his contemporaries distanced themselves from him, despite his extensive achievements. Certainly, Nikola Tesla was led to believe that the universe is wholly electric, and Tesla's genius knew a thing or two about electricity. Tesla died a broken and poverty-ridden man. Einstein, too, suspected that electromagnetic waves were transmitted through space in an ether, although he later reneged on his idea under pressure from pure ridicule. So, ridicule of an electric universe is nothing new. However, it is well supported by the work, research, and discoveries of eminent scientists. Support for a theory must stand up to experimentation and be able to predict the outcome under certain conditions. One of the strengths of the electric universe theory is that the conditions of evidence, experimentation, and predictions add up to a theory worthy of merit. Many ideas in history have been ridiculed, often later proving to be a revolution in human progress.